Hello everyone, welcome to Facts You Need to Know channel, a place to share interesting stories of countries around the world. Suppose there is a question, which country is full of geographical and cultural elements in this world? It could only be India. India is the only country in the world with an ocean named after its country. Indian has deserts, rivers, islands, snow, mountains, many languages and all the religions in the world. India's is the land of contrasts and is considered a miniature world. What will the Indian miniature world look like? Let's find out in today's story. First determine the location of India. India is a country located in the region of South Asia, occupying most of the Indian peninsula. They have borders with Pakistan, China, Myanmar, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan and Afghanistan. Its area is 3,287,263 square kilometers, making it the seventh largest country in the world. India is the second most populous country in the world after China, and they are also in the top 10 largest countries in the world. India has a very special geographical location that is the country's back leans against the Himalayas, the most majestic mountain range in the world. The front faces the Indian Ocean. They also have great rivers, the Indus and the Ganges. Great rivers that have always been the cradle of human civilizations. Before independence, India was a British colony. The founding of India now owes great merit to the Mahatma Gandhi, who was hailed as the father of India. He persuaded the British government to grant India independence by peaceful means and was accepted. But Britain then decided to separate India into two countries. A country with a majority of Hindus is India now, and a country with a majority of Muslims is Pakistan. India has all the world's religions. To be sure, the religions of the world are all present in India. Although India is about 80% Hindu, the country is still home to many different religions. Including India has more than 300,000 mosques and more than 2 million Hindu temples. In proportion, only about 15% of India's population is Muslim. But in fact, they can find mosques throughout India. And India is the country with the second largest number of Muslims in the world, after Indonesia in Southeast Asia. What about Buddhism? Sakya Muni Buddha, the founder of Buddhism. He was born in the 7th century BC in a city that is now in Nepal. His most important times associated with the areas that are now India. Located 30 kilometers north of Pakistan's capital Islamabad, there is a small town called Taxila, which is a land with many important details of Buddhism and has a history of over 3,000 years. India is known as one of the strong economies. Can you imagine what 1.4 billion people of India co-produce? The South Asian country also possesses a large amount of oil, natural gas, textile industries, vehicle manufacturing, iron, steel, which play an important role in India's economy. But the country also recorded a huge wealth poor disparity. By the end of 2020, according to the Business Started website, India's super-rich now own nearly $500 billion in total assets, and this figure is equivalent to nearly 20% of the country's estimated annual gross domestic product. It shows how big India's wealth poor disparity is. India is also one of the countries with the most gold in the world, but Indian gold is stored in a different way than just in the national treasury. It is estimated that more than 600 million women use gold jewelry, and it is estimated that this amount is more than 20,000 tons. This figure makes great powers such as the United States, Germany, France, Italy, China and Russia also feel really apprehensive. India is also the first country to know how to exploit and use diamonds. In ancient and medieval times, India was almost the only country in the world that could mine diamonds. It was not until the 18th century that more diamond mines were discovered in Brazil and then South Africa, adding to the diamond market. History, Culture and People India has a lot of holidays. In 2022, it was reported that India recorded a total of 26 official holidays, as Independence Days, different festivals based on religions including Christmas. The diversity of celebrations comes from the fact that, there are so many different cultural groups mixed in the Indian population, which leads to so many holidays and festivals. In India Children's Day is October 14th, which is nine months after Valentine's Day. You probably already understand this coincidence. What about the Indian population? According to the latest statistics, India's population is 1.48 billion people. This number has surpassed China's population, which is now 1.4 billion people. 
India is now officially the most populous country in the world. Regarding the language, it will surprise you that India is the second largest English-speaking country in the world, only after the United States. Currently, India has about 130 million English speakers, equivalent to only 10% of India's population. But 10% is too large for India's huge population, which is expected to increase quite a lot in the coming years. Hindi and English are the official languages of the government and in education, but there are still more than 20 other languages that are also considered official in India. When it comes to India, it must definitely mention the type of cow. It is not only crowded in number, but it also has an important meaning to the life of the people here. There are currently about 45 million cows in India, which is the largest number in the world. Cow is a mascot in India, it is very sacred to Hindu communities. The sacredness of the cow comes from the fact that, the cow is the mount of Lord Shiva and India is a cult nation. For them, the cow is divine. Indians do not eat beef but can use cow's milk. There are many people who have been beaten for insulting cows. Whether you're a traveler or you're a local, there can be trouble with cows. Some advice for visitors to India is to absolutely not bring any cow products into India, especially beef or cowhide clothes, not to eat beef in India. When encountering cows walking on the road, stay away and don't chase or beat. India recorded the most unhygienic festival in the world. The festival is called Kumbh Mela. It is the most exclusive shared bathing festival in the world, and is estimated to be attended by around 100 million people each year. 100 million participants each year, which is terrible. They made pilgrimages to rivers that were said to wash away sins, as well as help people escape the cycle of death and seek rebirth. An interesting fact is that at the busiest times, this collective bath festival can be seen from outer space. Continuing to be another interesting story about India, which is the ritual of river burial and cremation. According to Hindu beliefs, human life will not be complete without being immersed in the waters of the Ganges once. Therefore, river water is widely used in worship rituals and daily eating activities. Ganges river water is considered a good omen, it helps people to cleanse the soul from past sins. So the partial cremation of the body and drifting the river, or following traditional funerals only wrapped the body in cloths, and dropped into the Ganges river is considered a sacred ritual. But one thing is that people then scoop up water here to drink and live. The transportation network in India is terrible. India has the most terrible road network on the planet. According to the report of the country's transport authority, if you add up all the different streets, boulevards and highways of India, it will become a 4.7 million kilometers road. And it is estimated that this road is enough to travel more than 100 times around the equator of the Earth. Speaking of India, do you recognize the Taj Mahal? During World War II, the temple was disguised with bamboo trusses. This structural system will be used to hide the Taj Mahal from bombers. And this has been effective, because the Taj Mahal has never been attacked in war. This is also the end of the story of India, the country known as the miniature planet. Thank you for following this story. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Now goodbye and see you in the next section.